Hi, this is Gene and I'm in Houston, Czech, Texas. Check this out. This is a young cherry bark oak and it has heaved. Take a look at this. Totally uprooted. Let me stand at this angle and show you its root heave. Okay, this happened during a rainstorm about 10 days ago. I'm going to look at it from a different angle. This was not a gradual heave. This was overnight. Look at that big old hump. Okay. This tree is resting in some very small wood. The three points of contact, believe it or not, that is not a point of contact right there. Let me show you. I'm going to risk here. Let me go around it. I don't really want to stand under this, but I do want to show you this large limb is not a point of contact, but this much smaller limb indeed is. Uh, that smaller limb is a point of contact. And there are two other less than three inch diameter pieces holding this up. Right there. And there's a third point of contact in here. Oh, right here. Very small wood, right there. Resting right there. There's a little bit of weight distribution right there on some of that one inch diameter wood. There's a tiny bit of weight distribution right here on this two and a half inch diameter piece of wood. And there may be some weight resting right up there but it looks to me like three points of contact, all three of which are less than three inches in diameter. So this is not something I would wait. Oh, let me get a few more bids. I would get this some itch on the ground. And I certainly wouldn't be parked under it. I know that there's some discussion as to what is a widow maker. Um, some say a widow maker is a top or limb that breaks from a tree that you're cutting on. And some say that it's a top or a tree that has failed and is hung up in another one. It's not a barber chair. This is actually a barber chair because when you cut the weight out of it, this will bounce back. So in that regard, it is a barber chair. Because one of the things that happens is the weight gets pruned out of the top of this thing and this thing straightens up and that will bounce back and uh, clean the clock of the guy who's who's making that final cut. The other thing is that during Hurricane Ike, these things would uproot completely, and if anybody was standing in that hole, and that tree stood up, fell back in the hole, that guy would be interred beneath it. GeneBosler.com, I welcome your comments.